Hey everyone, Viking back. Welcome to Mecha Bolt. The uh, story intro is playing right there if you want to take a look. This is a puzzle action platformer um, in a pixel art style by Ra Radalika and some picks. So this game here, the world, the world overview, there's jungle, desert, caves and then the control complex and basically there's 24 levels in each area and the story goes um the batteries you got to get the batteries to keep the park running or the mecha robots are on the fritz so basically you have to go through each level and figure out how to get to the battery using your gun and the enemies to avoid the traps and stuff it's kind of a cool little platform game i ended up really digging it um, we're gonna start in the jungle area here and you can see there's like spikes and pitfalls and traps that you gotta get through and then use your gun to position the robots to get through so here that's a jump pad robot and I got to figure out how to maneuver him to where I want to get the battery and they just go through like this so there's each level you know each area has 24 levels to pass and it was fun I had a blast with it it was cha a little challenging. I mean, not too challenging, but it was a good amount of challenge, and it really started to get fun. And there I died. Um, it really started to get fun as the game was coming to an end. So the last area, I was really into it, and I was sad that the game ended. <laughs> I wanted more of it. Um. So if they ever did a sequel, I think it could be really cool. I mean, the art style looks great. It has a Mega Man vibe, kind of, with the enemy design. And it's short little levels. I mean, you whip through them pretty fast. Uh, and each area has its own little themes, which are nice. But the game mechanics are just pretty fun. I got this game on sale. It was uh, it's four ninety nine. I got it for forty nine cents. So it was money well spent, and I wanted, like I said, it left me wanting more. I really like this game. So this is you can see here the enemies are, you know, that burns the way and kind of dodge the fireballs. And if you spin them. Burns that so you can pass. So you kind of got to figure it out, and there's you know a little challenge, and then it's over with. So we'll go to the next level, Desert. I'm just going to show you the first couple levels of each stage so you can get a taste for it. But this game is uh, it's good fun for a little puzzle action platformer. You know, these Radalika published games uh, that are in the store, they're, uh, they're, they got some cool ideas in, and the games end up being kind of short and they kind of leave you wanting a little more or they, or they're missing something where it's not quite a hit, but they're, they're, they've been fun try, to try out these little indie, indie games. Use your gun to push the blocks and. Yeah, so this is, so Mecha Bolt, never heard of it, just saw it in the store and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. I hope they make a sequel, Mecha Bolt 2, come on, if you guys are uh, listening to this, uh, make a Mecha Bolt 2, make it a little more uh, in-depth, maybe some extra gameplay elements or a little more polish, and this is a solid, this is a solid hit, give us like you know, a little 500 levels instead of 100. Maybe some extra collectibles or a little more incentive to master everything. And 
think you got a good game on your hands here. There's a good variety of robot enemies to uh, deal with compared to some of the other games I've played by this developer or this publisher. So yeah, the desert level. I think we're going to move on to the caves next. The caves are pretty fun. I like the look of that. one these spikes of some of them fall some don't so it trips you out makes you kind of have to you'll get hit with them and have to figure out the patterns but I mean look this is a cool looking light I like the look of these caves the art style is solid and the controls it handles nice the game handles good there's not any wonky controls And the puzzles really, in the last part, the command center levels, the, the puzzles really start getting good. They introduce laser beams and things like that. And, um, having to backtrack a little bit to like set up the, uh, the escape. Just like that one doesn't shoot. You can shoot some of the, um, some of them down. <laughs> I'm trying to make, I don't want to follow me when I get there. So these these platformers, they got a good variety of the of the platformers that go on sale or that are affordable prices, and I think they're worth playing. I mean, you'll get you'll get some hours of fun out of them, and then you're supporting the. Uh, publisher so hopefully they keep putting these out and keep, keep giving us um, interesting ideas so this is the last set the command center and this is kind of a teleport a portal thing you kind of shoot the shoot where you want to go and it teleports you there and uh, set up these robots to kind of get rid of the lasers and unlock the path and some of these missions got really good. I enjoyed them. And then after this, the game's done. This is the last area. And I was kind of like, oh, man, I could do I could do another couple levels. Man, double, double the amount. throw in some bosses you know some bosses would be nice yeah I think this is a solid series I enjoyed it and I think it has a really good um, like I said art style I think it's got some personality to it flames sometimes you end up shooting the wrong blocks and you gotta like restart the level because you messed it up but that's part of the fun of it the trial and error well I think I'll end it wrap the video up there this is mecha bolt um, and it was a fun game I liked it and I want it left me wanting more so I'll be back with another vid soon. Give this a try if you can pick it up. If it looks like you want to play it. Viking out of here. Take care of yourselves. Bye.